Asus is no stranger to smartphones. They've made compelling smartphones in 2015 and are bringing their products to the Bangladeshi smartphone market. Hey guys, this is Avi from Techitron, and for today's review, we're taking a look at the Asus Zenfone 2 Deluxe. This is the top tier smartphone in Asus's lineup, and frankly speaking, this device is absolutely out of this world. Inside the compact box, Asus has actually offered up quite a lot. You get a fast charger along with some very good quality headphones which have flat cables, so that's always a big plus. Aside from that, you have some typical paperware as well as switchable ear tips for the new headphones. I have reviewed over 20 different smartphones, but the Zenfone 2 Deluxe definitely gained the most attention from the crowds. Wherever I went, people just kept asking me what that back material was, and most of them actually thought it was a cover. And almost everybody would take it into their hand and tilt it left and right to see the shifting of the color, and it's something you really need to see in person to appreciate. Aside from that, the difference in the texture of the back, it's got this zigzag, this sort of polygonal pattern on the back that just makes holding it feel completely unique and different from every other smartphone I've ever used. The power button is positioned on the top and I don't really like it because it's difficult to reach on the smartphone. But the volume buttons on the other hand are very easy and comfortably placed on the back, similar to smartphones that you'd find from LG. The main camera is a 13 megapixel unit with an f2.0 aperture, whereas the secondary camera is a 5 megapixel unit with the same f-stop. You also get dual tone LED flash, which adds a bit of extra flair to the device. Asus has a very versatile camera application. It comes with a lot of different modes for you to play around with, and also has a lot of other compelling features. But predictably so, the most compelling one for us was the manual mode. The manual mode is very interesting and granular as it gives you controls for the focal length, white balance, ISO, exposure, as well as the shutter speed. I'm very glad to see that Asus has not skimped on the manual mode of this camera as we've seen some other manufacturers do that. The images yielded by this camera again are very good and I would like to say that the white balance is very good, the color accuracy and even the sharpness on the images that we got were quite amazing. Other than that, the selfie camera also produced some very good results, and if you're worried about your social media game, don't be at all. This thing is going to provide you with some very good quality photos, and you really just don't need to stress it at all. To get a better idea of how the camera actually performed, head on over to the written article linked in the description below for actual camera samples so that you can judge the image quality for yourself. Asus has opted to use a 5.5-inch Full HD IPS display on the Zenfone 2 Deluxe, combined with Corning's Gorilla Glass 3 to keep you protected from all those nasty scratches. Aside from that, there are a few pointers that we'd like to mention over here. The brightness of the display does not go very high, which is why we actually had to film a few of the shots indoors, but on the lower end of the spectrum, everything is nice. The IPS display has a good color reproduction and also has very deep inky blacks, which makes for a lot of contrast. Now that's good whenever you're viewing anything. The 401 pixel per inch pixel density also makes everything look very sharp and nice on the display. And overall, you should not have any reason to complain. The Zenfone 2 Deluxe is running on Android 5.0 Lollipop with Zen UI on top. Now Zen UI is actually a launcher that you can get from the Google Play Store, so if you are interested, you could actually check that out. Now the first thing you'll notice is that there's a lot of bloatware. And in fact, I just made a separate folder with all the ASUS apps that come pre-installed with this smartphone and it truly is a mouthful. Some of these applications are very useful, but most of them really aren't, and that's actually really sad because you miss out on the useful applications while ignoring the other ones. Now, as I mentioned before, these applications are almost all of them available on the Play Store, so if you're interested in any of them, and some of them are very good, you can just go there and check these out. Now, Zen UI actually works really well, it's very nice and fluid, has very good animations, but looks nothing like stock Android. So if you're a complete fan of stock Android, you might want to get used to a little bit of a different taste with this. Now everything starting from the settings to the notifications panel to the lock screen looks different and I think ASUS actually did a very good job of making a nice and clean user interface. In fact a lot of people are fans of Zen UI and if you go onto ASUS's website where they're displaying the smartphone you can actually see the number of applications from this manufacturer that have been downloaded by regular consumers like you and me. And that just goes to show that everybody has a different taste and everybody has different things that suit their own needs. The Zenfone 2 Deluxe that we're reviewing is the model number ZE551ML. Now it's very important to note the model number because they vary in the specifications of the device. 
So the one that we're reviewing has 4 gigabytes of LPDDR3 RAM along with an Intel Atom quad-core processor clocked at 2.3 gigahertz. Now having said that, you should figure this out by now. Performance was not a big issue at all on the smartphone. In fact, with 4 gigabytes of RAM, I could multitask with ease and just breeze through every single application we used. And it was just so nice and fun to use the smartphone because it's got a dedicated performance mode which allows you to actually clock the device a little higher, just get that little bit of extra power out of the CPU so that you get smooth games and frame rates. Now we also have a power VR GPU inside the device and it actually does very admirably well. As you can see from the gameplay, everything runs very nicely and smoothly including Asphalt 8 and Modern Combat 5. Now the coolest part is, due to the fact that you have 4GB of RAM, you can actually have both these applications open at the same time and not worry about either one of them closing when you switch applications. So if you're feeling like doing a race and then suddenly shooting somebody, you could actually switch between the applications without worrying about any of them closing. And that just goes on to show how powerful the smartphone's internals are. Other than that, we also have 128 gigabytes of built-in storage within this model. Under the hood, the Zenfone 2 Deluxe is rocking a 3000 mAh battery. And that's a very good size for the smartphone given the resolution of the display. With this device, we consistently got a full day's worth of use, and the additional power saving modes will also allow you to extend that battery life far beyond the one day. The Zenfone 2 Deluxe is a complete package from ASUS. It has everything you could ask for from a smartphone that costs 40,000 taka. ASUS is going to be selling it through its own retail channels, so be sure to keep an eye out for when that happens. The Zenfone 2 Deluxe features a very good camera, some excellent performance given by those powerful internals, as well as a very good quality display. But hands down, the most standout feature is that beautiful unique design that's going to turn heads wherever you go. So that wraps it up for the video review of the ASUS Zenfone 2 Deluxe. We really hope you enjoyed it, so like, share and subscribe and spread the love. Stay tuned to Techitron.com and don't forget to check out the written companion of the review to get more details on the smartphone. Thanks once again.